Some girls will color their toenails salmon, but I do not. Keenly aware of the details, I am cautious in the broken. Even at the feet, I feel but tell none. To spring a short way upon the grass is the background way. Forget the elastic or bounding movement. To eliminate succession of movements is to linger and lament. Feel but tell no one a way of being. Insects on the interior. The cocoon makes something beautiful and shelter before the breaking out. Five cranes on canvas. In motion, one follows a different direction. Volcano and art. A tree and land below clouds. Above like candy. Gray and black and brown, or fat-bodied horses, three white, one dark, only the hind end a spectacle of one, deeper bronze, the traced in gold. Severe monuments, geometric full of martial illusions, symbols like eagles and stars. Color is our advance in chemistry, the domain of artificial tainture, a gold and silver mix, a polychrome cloak, translucent flowers in yellow, green, and blue. Wooden is the immoral architecture. In the factory, it looms straight down. Ain Burgundy, district of valleys cut by lines of abrupt rocky hills branches the Jura Mountains, not far from the Rhone and the Lake of Nantua, little village of De Jorieux. Here is where you pray. Here is the workshop. Here is where you sleep. Here is where you spin. Here is where you weave. Here is where you learn. The benefactor offered something other than work on farms. The benefactor set out to board, lodge, and clothe girls as well as give them wages. The benefactor built the silk factory. The benefactor taught the art of silk. No, the benefactor taught the manufacturing of silk. The benefactor became the hero of the country. The benefactor found docile bodies. I wonder not everyone senses my familial spirits, the baby too, filaments in cooperation, ghosts beguiled by spin and pull, twists to make a thread strong enough for woven, a thread I liken to home. When you die, you become an ancestor, not a saint. The recursive role, once a king, always a king, once a servant, always a servant. You worship the ancestor, swans on the lake. If you worship the next life, always a drowning. There's no space here for a skeptic. Stingy, cold boy, a straight heart and a quick mouth. Because this room is not the nostalgia of an orange and yellow melange, foliage, the family of deer every evening in the grass beside the house, a mother insists with arm pressed against the back, watch it close to her, not to the father lost in his own thoughts alone. The farmer's dog wandering the hills, narrow roads above the abbey, the abbey all windows, from which one could imagine eyes were best intentions. Window panes in this house cracked and needful, angling for solid stone, able, able to wander, warm breath around O oh, against the glass until she would say, come now, it's time to go. And the mind's clattering calculation of space would cease. I crush my chest and pull out a string of songs, bone inscriptions, notes on a score, in the right hand something becomes music, 
These are the notes which code a becoming, phenomena, maneuverings, otherwise left unscribed. But the third act is the fall. Lost geometry, a vase on mantle, long angular boards at cross purposes. Oh, but the tobacco smells good. Relatives carry boulders, it's in the eyes. Is not the winds through maples necessarily? Is not the gold the sunstruck in water? Nor is it the child there swimming into it? Is always and with mixed feelings, stomach emptied, soundless ground? I can feel your loom all the way over here, a chest silent, full of light. Ping shong, a level tone. Shang shong, a rising tone. Qi shong, a vanishing tone. Ju shong, an entering tone with a staccato effect. A vanishing tone, a falling. Beaming threads wrapped around the warp beam, warp beam on the loom, weft round around quill, quill and shuttle, shuttle set, lay down the weft through warp, threads cross from web side to side, right angles to the warp threads, interlace the winding pile, warp wound around reel or spool. There are two sounds you should know of. At night, there's the sound of the train traveling toward you. It is both masculine and feminine, masculine et feminin. It is feminine because the air takes it in in fingers of night and silk-fingered fringe. The train plays. And the geese, the masculine wings like the train, both are looking for home. There are 20 hungry cats outside my window every night. These are sounds I cannot feed. Ghost hardware, the room where we spin scratches itself into dreams. Old pencil marks a chorus of hauntings. Fewer dreams now, little digestion. Today's attempt at meditation is a coruscant halo. There's a first time for everything, swimming at the bottom of the hill, all those eastern amber wings, closed eyes to cicada sound, the lake, one could easily be in another state. 